my name is Kim. Welcome to my vlog. So I want to share my house today and my room. Um, actually, I'm going to move soon, so I want to show it to you before I leave. I've lived here for two years, and that doesn't sound like very much maybe, but for me it is. Um, uh, ever since I left home, uh, the home where I grew up as a kid, uh, I have not been in one place for more than a year. So this was the longest time, two years, in this house. So it really became like home. And it's nothing really fancy, but I like it. I like having the nature here and I have a nice cozy little room that I'll, show, that I'll share with you. Uh, the cost of living here is 3,000 baht for a month. Uh, and then also utilities um, with that, uh, that's another 500 baht or so. I don't use the aircon, that can really up your price. Um, and so then it would be even more. So I pay 3,500 baht and that is about 110 US dollars. And that is really cheap rent compared to the US. Um, before I was living in Portland, Oregon, and if you are in Portland, you know the rent is very steep, very high. And so coming here, the cost of living is much cheaper. So please enjoy my video. So behind me is the sign of the place where I live, Kankiao Resort. And here is the road that runs right in front of my house. And if I turn around, um, this goes back into Kankiao House where I live. On the side over here they have a little garden. Um, they didn't have this before but now they do. And then over here there used to be a ping pong table. Um, not anymore but I played a couple times. And on the side there's some nice tables where you can sit. And the house right here is where the owner lives. And a lot of the time they are sitting out here and the TV is usually always on. Um, I don't see them at the moment. But usually they're out here. I uh, hear the TV, the TV is on. <laughs> They'll probably be back. So this is their house where the owner and their family lives. And then right behind me is where I live. And um, a lot of other foreign teachers live there as well. Um, and also Thai people. Uh, and then there's this space right here, um, this courtyard where you can play badminton. I've played a lot of badminton, especially during the quarantine. I played almost every morning with my landlady. And trash can on the side here. There's this nice area. What I like about my house is that there's this space outside and there's lots of plants. On the side over here, you can park motorbikes and bicycles. And back behind, you can hang your laundry. There's a little spirit house. And let's go inside and see the house. So there are two floors in this place. I live on the second floor. So let's go up the stairs. <laughs> I'm filming on my selfie stick. This is um, a new experiment for me. So up the stairs. Here is the second floor. Here is my room. Down here, my shoes. I will take off my flip-flops before I go inside, like most Asians do. And here is my room, room 210. But not for long, since I'll be moving out soon. And inside my room, here is my room where I've lived for two years. I've spent a lot of time here. Here is my bed. Up above I have lights. I like to turn these on in the evening and make it nice and cozy. And 
well, I, I really like to decorate my room. I put up lots of um, quotes and verses. Um, over here is my desk. And also it's where I've made a lot of videos for teaching and I've taught online, so I have a little classroom. I used to have a teacher Kim sign, but it fell down and I haven't put it up because I'm gonna leave really soon. And the best thing about my room is this wonderful window. I love having this view. A window is probably the thing that's one of the most important things for me. Um, next to my bed, I have a bookshelf. Oh, here's pictures of my family and little mementos from friends. And then on the side over here, I have my cupboard, my food supply. I have lots of nuts, uh, oatmeal, instant noodles. Um, of course, for me, I love olive oil and vinegar. I make salads and add those. I'm very healthy. And my refrigerator. I have an electric water heater and very few utensils. I'm just one person, I don't need very much. And then here's my closet, it's open closet. And now let's see the bathroom. I usually keep the door shut because the window has an opening and the mosquitoes can get in. Okay, so here is the bathroom. Let me turn off the light. And this is very typical in Thailand, and I think maybe throughout Asia, where um, the shower is just part of the room. It's not in a separate stall or anything. So when I first move in, moved in for the first year, the water heater didn't really work. They would fix it and it would work for two weeks, and then it would break. And then for months, it just did not work. So I had cold showers, which actually isn't so bad because it's really hot here. But anyways, here is my toilet, bin, sink, and mirror, so very simple. And that is my room. And here is my landlady, Suki. Suatika. Suatika. Thank you, Suki. I hope you enjoyed my room house tour of living in Tok, Thailand. Please comment below and please like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Suatika.